Oh, oh, hey guys. Hey, I'm just over here chilling, getting ready for the summer, as you can see, because it's time to talk about the summer trend report. Ooh, I'm so glad to see summer coming. I bet you are too. Hang tight because we're going to discuss what to be on the lookout for if you're a reseller, what you should be picking up in the wild when you're out there sourcing for the summer. Okay, time to get down to business. Listen, guys, I'm a part-time reseller. I know a lot of you are part-time resellers. Some of you are full-time resellers. I sell on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, uh, Etsy, TradeZ, a bunch, <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I just absolutely love this job. I love it. It's my business and it's something I want to continue to do for a long time. Part of my job requirement, if I'm going to have this type of business, I need to be on top of what the new trends are going to be coming up in the next season. It's May. It's getting nice out. Have y'all been wearing your shorts yet? I certainly have. I got me a nice summer dress on today. I am so ready for the summer. I don't even know what to do with myself. Woo! I'm ready. We've had a long year, haven't we? Oh my gosh. So look, I've been studying what the, the big fashion houses are releasing all the information and what they're saying we need to be prepared for as far as summer trends and fashion. So if that's something that interests you, hang tight because I'm going to go over a little list that I compiled from the various resources stating what we should be looking for. Now, some fashion houses will list something that other fashion houses don't. Um, so I look at a common thread, like something that many of the fashion uh, fashionistas and influencers are saying are gonna be trending. Why is this important? Because when people hit the, the models are on the walkway for the, the spring or summer shows, am I watching biting my nails to see what I need to run out and buy? No, no, of course not. But the celebrities and their stylists are watching and they are going to style their celebrities according to what the newest trend is supposed to be this year. So when the celebrities wear it, the influencers are watching, the influencers wear it. When the influencers wear it and celebrities wear it, our buyers start looking for those items because we all know how powerful advertising and marketing is. When we see it consistently, on the TV, on the movies and music videos online, we begin to say, this is the norm. And I want to look like that because that is a definition of beauty. So that's why it's important for us because our buyers are seeing these influences and they're specifically sourcing for these types of clothing and apparel. So I'm here to share it with you. I always keep abreast of all of this research because I want to know what to start sourcing for. I'm not thrifting at, the, at this moment because I have a huge death mountain of clothing that I'm working through and listing as I go, but it has stopped me from thrifting. I have to stop. I've got to get this stuff listed. I do, the, however, occasionally source items online through wholesale liquidation, um, and I specifically look for things that I believe are going to be trending in the next season so that hopefully... I can sell them and they don't sit forever, right? That's the goal. So um, before I dig into this list, I'm going to share some images of each specific type of fashion trend that I'm going to mention to you. So you'll have an idea of what that looks like. But I want to mention something really quick. I am planning to start doing some live chat sessions on my channel. If you would be interested in just you know, maybe once every couple weeks or so, we'll just, I'll, I'll list what time we're going to talk in the evening during the week. And we can just come on and chat and have a discussion about things that affect us as resellers. Look, my husband doesn't want to hear me complain about my Poshmark closet. He could care less. That's your thing. He says, I don't want to hear about it, but you guys might listen because you, no one understands me like you do. Right. And vice versa. I hear you guys. I, have lots of conversations with people on my uh, Poshmark Instagram account. Uh, a lot of people are going through the same thing I am. And I just feel like this would be a safe place for us to come and vent and just ask questions if you're new or never experienced something. So let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in having a live chat session in the future coming up soon. 
Um, I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, and like I said, that way we could just pick a topic whenever we have a chat session and that's what we could kind of just talk about. So let me know. Let's move on to the summer trend report. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to even say summer. Wow, it's almost here. Okay, the first thing that is predicted, it's gonna be super hot this summer and I have to say I'm already seeing it in the stores is sorbet toned clothing. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about, sorbet clothing. So think bright, light, pastel colors. If it makes you think of walking into an ice cream shop, you're probably right on track. These are the colors that they're saying are going to be trending, and I am seeing them in all the stores. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty, pretty accurate. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is bubblegum pink. That color specifically is going to be really hot this summer. They are predicting. Another thing that they're predicting is beach inspired wear. Think uh, straw bags that make you think beach, but beach themed specifically like seashells and, and that type of thing. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here we go. Yay. Dreaming of the beach. Okay. This is what I'm discussing. All of these seashell prints, anything that makes you think beach, you see the straw bag, the sandals, uh, that specific type of graphic is supposed to be really big coming up. So if you're as creepy as I am, I admit I'm weird. I'll go to the stores and I watch people shop for clothing. I want to see what people are picking up in the stores. I like to do that. It's kind of weird, but it helps me because I'm saying, okay, I know it's been predicted this will be a trend, but I see people actually shopping for or i see people in the mall wearing this type of clothing so that's something to definitely be aware of okay number three is the color pink literally bright pinks neon pinks you see the bubblegum pink there i mentioned they are saying this is going to be the it color of summer so definitely be picking that up i have been specifically sourcing for this color like if i see um, a variety of colors to choose from i go for the pink every time or like we were saying before, the pastel colors. Number four, and I, I mentioned this in a previous video a couple of weeks ago because my daughter was talking about it. She's going into high school next year. Oh my gosh. Uh, so she was saying, hey, this is really trendy at my school right now. She always tells me what's popping, you know. And the loose jeans are really big right now. Loose denim. So high rise, still a high rise, fitted in the waist area and in the buttocks, the butt. But the pants are going to be loose. You know how they're they're killing off our skinny jeans. I'm holding on to mine. I don't care. I'm fighting it. But loose jeans are supposed to be really big this summer. Uh, and I am seeing them being sold everywhere. My daughter wanted a couple pairs. She's been wearing them to school. And everybody's like, oh, those are so cute. So, yeah, this is definitely a trending thing. Uh, number five, crop tops and bralettes. Similar to this. If you're anything like me, you've been selling bralettes nonstop. I've been selling them for the last three months, really, just nonstop. I can't get enough of them. So those are basically going to continue being a trend. Um, the crop tops with like, you know, the loose jeans or the looser bottom uh, fashion is going to be pretty trendy, apparently. Okay, number six is cutouts. Oh, no, I didn't put it down. Hold on. One last thing I forgot to mention. Puff sleeves. Yes. Puff sleeves, similar to this shirt right here, you see that puff little, and I mentioned that in spring that I saw a lot of people sh uh, shopping for puffy sleeves. I think it is the cutest look. Any kind of shoulder detail really is where uh, the fashion designers are trying to draw the eye as far as fashion goes. Just puff sleeves, um, even the padded shoulders they're saying are coming back, which is like I'm so scary for me because I lived through the 80s and 90s. I don't want to see that come back. But the puff sleeves, I can get with that. I think they're really cute, very fashionable. So be on the lookout for that as well. And now we can go to cutouts. Um, this is supposed to be a big deal too. The cutout fashion, especially like bathing suits, dresses, any little cutout detail, even on the side there in the waist is supposed to be very, very popular. I am seeing that a lot in the stores. And even when I'm sourcing online, I'm seeing it. So I'm definitely picking it up. Number seven is netting. So netted clothing, kind of like a um, 
something to put over a crop top. You can see she's got her crop top there, her little bralette. Um, also netted bags, like handbags are supposed to be super in. I mean, nothing says summer like netted fashion, right? That is so 90s, by the way. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then this one I mentioned in a few videos back to the, the jelly sandals. So every summer sandals are super popular, but specifically jelly sandals, the rubber sandals. I bought a pair of these. It was on my last uh, fast flip video. Um, it was just some boutique off brand pair of jelly sandals, but I thought they were crazy cute. They had, they were pink, right? Pink with the heart on them. And I couldn't not pick them up. They were so adorable. I was like, if I love these this much, somebody else has got to love them too. They were on clearance at Marshall's brand new with tags for a couple bucks. And I sold them real fast. Everybody was like, like, like they loved them. And then right after that, like a week later, I see the summer trend report come out and they said, jellies are everything this summer. And I'm like, so true because every time I go in a store, I see jelly sandals everywhere. So Another 90s, 80s throwback coming back in fashion. You can see this is the bubblegum pink, which is also super popular. Um, and then last but certainly not least would be clogs. If I can get it to show here, stop it. Hold on one second, here we go. There we are, clogs. Uh, the clog sandals are, are supposed to be really popular right now. Even if you guys remember those Dr. Scholl's clog sandals that were super popular like in the 80s. When I was a kid, I had a pair there horrible for your feet. They were so painful, my feet, but they were cute and they were the trend and you had to have them. Well, so those are coming back. I've seen them out and I'm like, oh my gosh, what a nightmare. And then these clog sandals right here. So any type of clog sandals you have, like all the celebrities are being spotted wearing them already. So they are going to be trending. So be ready for that. That's what I have, you guys. That's the summer report. There are some other things here and there that I heard mentioned, but these are the things that I consistently saw, you know, celebrities wearing, influencers wearing. Uh, these are the things that I think are really going to take off. So be on the lookout for those bright colors and the light pastels for the summer. Your jelly sandals, don't forget those. And make sure you're taking some time out for yourself to relax this summer. I mean, hey, we need a summer break too, right? Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for listening. Let me know about the live video if you're interested. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.